Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and this is episode 21 of my Copper State Models 132nd Cauldron G3. We're getting closer to finishing. If you're watching this then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like and ring my bell. That'd be brill. Thank you. To begin this episode we're going to be finishing off the front of the tail bones. I thought we'd done them in the last episode but no we'd not. My mistake. So let's finish these off but before we crank things up I've gone through this and no mistakes were made. What's going on? I know. So I've cut the length down, keep your interest and we can get more in this video. So without further ado let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on. There we have the tail booms finally finished. Just over an hour to rig them. And looking pretty good if I say so myself. Next we've got the rudder to glue to the tail. So let's crack on and get it sorted. There we have our rudders glued in place. We used a mixture of extra thin glue and a trusty CA mix. Now we're going to be tackling the control cables for the rudder. And as I mentioned in the previous video, I learnt that pre-drilling your holes before building is a great idea. Point proven. Anywho, let's get this sorted.
that's the rudder control cables sorted. As you saw, it didn't go to plan. I had to remove the rudders to re-drill those bleeding holes. Anyway, here I had to cut a length of rod to allow me to support the horn whilst I drilled some vertical holes. Please be patient, this is gonna take a while. So grab a coffee, tea, beer, whatever you want. Sit back, make yourself comfortable and watch me stress. There we have those holes drilled, ready for rigging of the tail. But before we rig the tail, we need to finish off hairy sticking the rest of the struts for the tail. So let's get those sorted. There was only one to do, that was the central one. So we'll pop that over there to dry. Let's get the outboard ones fitted while that one dries. Then we can fit the middle one. First, I had to work out which one went where. Oh, the joys. I really should have tagged them. Anywho, let's crack on. I'm really sorry about the focus in there, folks. I really don't know what the hell happened. Anywho, time for the central strut. All three of the tail struts are done and looking nicely aligned and symmetrical, as you can see. Now for rigging. This time, we're gonna be doing the tail. So sit back, relax, and enjoy watching me stress and shake. Here we go. That's all the eyelets in, holes drilled, re-drilled, 
elevators fixed, the list goes on. What we'll do now is the easiest bit of the rigging, which is just threading through the tail and the rudder. So let's crack on with that bit. Oh bollocks! Watch here as I snap the undercarriage strut. Just there, you see the cables go loose. Bugger! How much time is this going to cost me? Not a lot at all. Once I fix the strut back in place, all the lines tighten back up. Now that's lucky. That could easily have cost us a couple of hours there. Anywho, back to the rigging and it's time for some turnbuckles. So let's crack on with those. There we have that section of the tail finished. Nicely aligned and looking good. So, let's get the rest of the tail cracked. Okay, my eyes are starting to get tired now. So, time for my Omnivisor. What an absolute godsend this is, I love it. That's looking good. Nice alignment there. Uh, oh, bugger. Better get that fixed then. Couple of dabs of super glue and we're back on our way again. And there we have the tail rigging complete. There's been a lot of work that I've cut out there as I just couldn't get it all in. But I did keep the interesting parts, so my cock up. The rigging went pretty well and I'm really happy with how it's turned out. Anywho, this seems like a good a place as any to end. So thank you for watching episode 21. If you want to see what happens in episode 22, the final episode, then please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.